6.59. Oh, 6 o'clock now. So, hey. Okay. It looks like it's gearing up. Oh. And there we are. Oh, I think we're, I think we did it. Okay. I think Excellent. We did it. All right. Excellent. Well, good evening. Welcome uh, to the Club Z uh, happy hour. Um, hopefully we'll have uh, some good visitors uh, and people stopping by tonight. Um, my name is Jenny George and I am on the uh, board of trustees with the Canton Symphony Orchestra and I'm excited to be your host tonight. Um, I have uh, with me, I invited my mom uh, to join, <laughs> to join me. Um, so I wasn't talking to myself um, alone on a computer. Um, and she does that. <laughs> well, yes. Plus, you know, she, you can, she won't say no to a good cocktail. So um, I thought that was a good, uh, a good incentive to invite her off, uh, uh, over for. So we also have a great piece of music tonight um, that we'll be listening to, a piece by uh, composer uh, Florence Price. And I'll talk a little bit about that um, as we get closer to listening. Um, but uh, first we need to uh, uh, make a cocktail. How does a, a pomegranate martini sound? I think it sounds wonderful. All right, good. All right, so we've got our shaker because these are these are good drinks to have shaken as opposed to stirred. Um, if you're if you're uh, uh, a Bond fan, so we're gonna put some ice. And what are we making? We are making pomegranate martinis. Oh, excellent. So. Um, so you get some great pomegranate juice. And the ratios for this recipe are uh, three parts pomegranate juice, two parts vodka, and I'm using uh, citrus vodka tonight. Um, Kettle One makes a very nice uh, citrus vodka. So does Grey Goose, Three Olives, um, Effin. That's a really good, those are all really good citrus vodkas. So um, I kind of like having that with, um, going along with the pomegranate juice. I think it works uh, very nicely. So we're gonna do three parts of pomegranate juice, two parts vodka, one part uh, orange liqueur like uh, Cointreau or triple sec. I have tonight um, uh, Patron uh, orange liqueur. We'll be using that. And then we also use one part freshly squeezed lime juice. Don't use any of the little fake plastic things. It's, it's worth uh, squeezing the lime juice uh, yourself uh, for that flavor. So, um, so we're making. I'm going to make a double batch so that mom doesn't have to just watch oh, me drink. No. Um, I would not do that. <laughs> so we're going to add three ounces for each drink of pomegranate juice. So this will be a double. Is that going to hold enough? Double batch. All right. All right. Let's see. Can we see any of the comments? I don't so know. Are anybody I, joining us I here? I think so. There should be comments, but I can't see them. People oh. should say hello. I know, right? I'm trying to see where that's at. Yeah. How about that check mark at the bottom there? Let's see. What does that say? Create new group? New, new message. message. New message. No, does that pop up? Let's see. Let Let's see. see. No, I don't know. That's not it. We'll have to keep trying. We've got some people on though, so hello. hello. Glad you're here. <laughs> oh, Beth Poland. Hi, Beth. Um, so, all right. So we've added our it says three 19 parts. Nineteen people in chat. Yeah, nineteen. We've got uh, sixteen live viewers currently. So very good. All right. So I'm going to add my two ounces per drink of the citron vodka we and of course you can always add more if you oh absolutely and we hope you're making uh, one along with her yes well i you know i i posted the ingredients uh on uh, very the invite because yes. i thought it would be important for people to uh you know another good tip is to always keep your uh, kettle one in your freezer oh yeah keep your vodka cold always yes yes good advice Sack. Oh, you've got some more people on your. Oh, yeah, we're popping up here. Oh, it says use my phone uh, to look at comments. So maybe uh, I'll, okay. I'll do that here in a minute. I should have set mine up. All right, and then we're going to add 
Oh, the lime the juice fresh. just smells delicious. Right? Isn't that good? Yeah, really, really good. All right, so there's a that, that boy's up full, but that's good. That's what I thought. Be careful when you shake that, <laughs> right. baby. No promises. <laughs> no promises. So let's get our glasses ready. So um, just because I like to be a little extra with my cocktails, I uh, went ahead and I zested uh, one of the limes before I squeezed the fresh juice and uh, blended it together with uh, some sugar to, so I could have it as a uh, rimmer on our martini glass. So I'm just going to use a lemon wedge to moisten the edge and then we're gonna oh and that smells so good doesn't too. that smell so good oh wow it's just a nice little yeah i really mm. like the lime with the pomegranate juice um for sure and then i also have a couple of um just uh some real thin orange peel uh from an orange and i just use my um like vegetable, vegetable peeler, peeler just to pull a little uh then you get the oils from mm -hmm. the orange peel uh in with the drink which is really you can nice. also you know take a match and sort of light it to bring out the oil oh well, aren't you fancy i am i didn't I'm even very know that <laughs> I'm very oh, all right okay well, let's give this a good shake no spilling yet stay back stay back for sure yeah. All right, let's see here. I'm going to pull up the Facebook comments here for a second before I pour so I can say hi to anybody who's who's on. Oh, here we go. The drink. Was so I have to, oh, nice. see, but I have to turn the volume down. This will only work until I get to uh, um, uh, listening to the music because I'm using my phone to uh, broadcast it through my Bluetooth speaker. But, um, oh, we've got uh, Beth. Hello, Beth. And, oh, hi, Becky. Uh Oh, yeah, Nathan, I, I too enjoy just a little bit of juice with my vodka. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, and our fearless leader, uh, Michelle Charles, who is the CEO of the symphony, is joining did us. Did I so. meet her? Uh, you did? Yeah, you have so met her? Well, Michelle. It's nice to <laughs> be with you again. <laughs> and uh, oh, as well as, um, oh, Joe Martino and uh, Gail Martino. Gail's part of our, the symphony board. Um, Pretty good stuff. Oh, hi, Sue. And Aunt Bobby is on. Hi, Hello, Aunt Bobby. Bobby. Ethel. <laughs> so, um, oh, she's Bobby's very impressed. Now, she texted me earlier for details today and was running out to the store to she's, get the ingredients for tonight. So I'm this, counting on you, Bobby, that you're... This is like cooking with Ina. Right. Oh, when I grow up, I want to be Ina Garden. Well, you're pretty close. So, yeah. so yeah, you're, doing, you're on your way. You're well on your way. <laughs> Lies. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Ambrosia. Oh, look how nice that looks. Uh, and there's probably a little left there so we can oh, wow. top off that? when we go. Let's see who else is there. Who else, who else, else do we, we need to say hi to before we Oh, uh, uh Hello, hello, uh, Charles family. They're asking about the oranges. So it's really a, a just take, you know, when you have your orange, you just just use your vegetable peeler and you can just you're just pulling off that orange part none of the white pith um, and that's great you can do real thin ones you can do that with your limes your lemons your oranges for any cocktail it's a real easy way um, it looks really cool um, a lot of times in these drinks as well with the pomegranate martinis when you can find a real pomegranate um, or even sometimes they sell little cups of pomegranate seeds mm -hmm. I'll put some of those down in there, but I couldn't find any today at the store, and I was not gonna run to I ten different stores to find them. So <laughs> I won't fault you. No, I no, no but I think you. they'll be good. So let's give it a try. Here, All cheers right. to a good cocktail and good company. good music and good company. I'm so glad you came by, Mom. Mmm. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, that's tasty. Mm. That's tasty. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. I should be on the menu somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> That should, actually, it is on the menu somewhere. Uh, one of the reasons I picked this ah, drink for this evening, that's right. um, our um, composer, Florence Price, she was originally born in Little Rock, Arkansas, but then later uh, moved to Chicago. And she is, uh, um, uh, she was a very prolific writer in the 30s and 40s. And her, uh, her first symphony uh, was the... Um, it premiered in 1933 with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Um, 
Christine. And she, it was the first time a major orchestra played a piece of music written by a woman of color. Uh, so I'm excited uh, to be able to listen to that and um, enjoy her music. But I first had a pomegranate martini when we were in Chicago. Where was that? So I think maybe J. Alexander's. I would bet. I, I would bet. I would bet. I would bet. Many, many a martini of, yeah. of many different kinds have been partaken at the J. Highly Alexander. Recommend. <laughs> Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Um, oh, hi, Nancy Linksweiler. She's from church. Hello, Nancy. So, so I'm glad my mom's with me, too. She said, love that your mom is with you. Here, I'll put them so you can see, oh, too. Oh, okay. Well, I was so happy to be invited. Yeah, what an exciting thing. I'll tell you, we haven't had a cocktail together in quite some time. Since Corona. Since, yeah, yeah. with COVID. This is, in fact, the first time my mom's been to my house since mm -hmm. March. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, it's doubly exciting uh, to get to spend some time with her tonight because we haven't gotten to do that much. Mm -mm. And I really do enjoy spending time with my mom. <gasps> a lot, of course. So. <laughs> So, all right, well, a little bit more information about um, our composer and the piece that we're listening to tonight. Um, we're going to be listening to Florence Price's uh, Concerto in One Movement. And it's a great piece. It's a good example of, of her music. Um, but I really encourage you to listen to her other works. Many of them you can find on, you know, Amazon Music, Sirius um, uh, Pandora. They there are several being carried. In fact, that first symphony that I mentioned earlier, as well as her fourth symphony, um, those were put out by the Fort Smith Symphony. It was an, a record, a recording put out just uh, last year, um, or about a year and a half ago. Which is when I first became aware of her as a composer. Um, they had done something on NPR. I was just going to say, NPR Ta has their classical channel. Yeah, and they yeah. were talking about like 10 albums you need to hear. Um, and what was really interesting to hear about her was um, uh, just a few years ago, uh, someone was renovating a house in Illinois, and I can't remember the little town outside of Chicago. Um, it was really run down. It was decrepit. So, uh, somebody had bought it, and they were hoping to fix it up. And when they were... Um, digging around like a tree had fallen on it the house was really a mess but they found like a dry corner in the um basement area that had all kinds of old boxes and they were getting ready to throw them out and in the boxes they came across all of this sheet music all oh. of these compositions um that had florence price so and they didn't know who she was so they googled it um found out who she was and did some information and they contacted um uh, a college in Arkansas that holds a lot of her archives oh, and said, wow. hey, do you want this? I'm sure they did. Um, and it had the um, it had the music for that fourth symphony, which is what wow. was part of that recording. Oh, nice. um, but she has some really other wonderful works. Um, in addition to the one we're listening to tonight, another one I considered, but it's a little long, uh, maybe for happy hour. Um, she has one called the Mississippi River Suites oh. that is fantastic. Um, and she just has some really wonderful pieces. What I like about her is she combines what is obviously like a European influence from those composers, but she also has, she weaves in like folk tunes, jazz, blues, blues mm -hmm. even African spirituals. You, you just, she has this really great, um, this great uh, uh, influence, thing. all these influences of her musical life. Um, are part of her wow. music. I'm excited to hear. You should, yeah, you should be. This one, this one is even though it's um, one movement. Uh, there's kind of like three parts to it, and in the third one, they have one. I even had to write it down. Um, there's it concludes with a sprightly example of a juba, which is a folk dance that was popular <laughs> in the years before the Civil I used War. To do that. <laughs> so even in this concerto, you're hearing these really interesting things I used back to before juba. the Civil War. I used to juba. <laughs> Long time ago. Cameron Cabot. Hello. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining. Hello. And then, oh, Rachel. hello. Rachel. Oh, so Rachel, she is, um, she oversees all the uh, music education through the symphony. She's she's a delight. She was last week's host, and you did a great job. So thanks, Rachel. I wasn't invited. Um, <laughs> I was drinking alone for that one. Uh -huh. She made a mean mojito. <gasps> I love a oh, mojito. 
And we've got Tina. Hello, Tina. So I'm so excited that we've got a lot of folks. What a nice turnout. This is a nice turnout. So it's a good thing you didn't have them all here at your house. I know, right? I know. Well, you know, in, a, <laughs> in another day. For a virtual. Yes. Who knows? Maybe happy someday hour. these uh, virtual happy hours will turn into an maybe actual maybe happy hour November. at Club Z, yeah. uh, which is over at the Zimmerman Center, which is what wow. the Z is for, yeah. um, that we can uh, get together and listen to some good music and have a couple cocktails uh, in person Sounds again good. someday. At least that's the hope. Um, so, all right. So, you're ready to listen to? Yeah. Yes, I'm this. excited to. All right. So, well, that's good. That's good. All right. So I have to, I don't know if I'll be able to comment much um, because I'm going to have to play the uh, song through. Because uh, oh. I didn't really think that through. I probably should have thought that through better. But that's all right. So we're going to. Mm -hmm. There's no way to play it in the background. So, well, it's. <laughs> because you'll hear it on my phone. I can't turn the volume down on my phone or you won't hear it on that. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see if I can make it make it work or not. Do you have your phone? I do. Do you want me to grab it? Here, I'll grab it so you don't have to crawl out from behind me. Yes, and you I can just it. entertain the folks while I get it. Well, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what was that dance we were just doing? Are you going to do that for us, Mom? I could do a little juba. Here so here, we're... I'll set that over there so you can check with that. Do, a, do some of the juba dance. I think that'd be an, a fine idea. Okay, now you want to get me on there? Yeah, so, okay. all right. Well, let's. I'll get the piece started and then just go into Facebook. And it should pop up because I think you marked it that you were coming. I so did. you'll see it. I did. So hit your notifications. Oh. Hit that button. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So we we'll turn, we'll turn the volume down, but then you can at least see the. Oh, hey, Trevor. Trevor, hello. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Oh, and Don Montgomery. Hi, Don. Nice. Tina. Nice. Trevor, I hope you're making a lovely cocktail as well. Did so, we say hello to Tina Shaheen? We did. We did. Oh. There, yeah, that's our, okay. All right, well, let's get to the song, uh, the music. It's, it's a beautiful piece. Again, this is uh, Florence Price's Concerto in One Movement. And uh, you can send out a note if it's uh, too, loud. too loud or too quiet. <laughs> too, short, too, too quiet. should I think I tried to make it so that they could hear us okay so let us know if the volume is not adequate thank you Cameron Well, 
Paul's a great writer. The Arkansas Symphony performed it. Um, it's available online.
Some I'd never heard of. I couldn't tell you the name of them now either because I can't remember who they were. Okay, Vivian. Yeah, there were some good ones. serene, after all that bold, mm -hmm. uh, invigorating Hope if anything that they that maybe they got introduced to a new composer.
budding musician on her and her family. I didn't tell you? I got my dance shoes on. <laughs> oh, see? See, I moved. We're, <laughs> right. see, we're dancing on the inside. <laughs> you can't see my feet. Yes, we're dancing. We're dancing very low. I love this one. I just love that if you think to the very beginning of this piece, that grand, like Rachman and all this piano. to it in advance. Well, I wanted you to hear it fresh. I'm, well, maybe that's the For your reaction, right? For your reaction. Yeah, I yeah. had 
Yeah. Um, I try. I even myself tried to not listen to it too many times so you can enjoy the beforehand. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to like dissect it the whole time. Yeah. And now you hear coming up this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted Thank it to you, be Becky. something. We're glad you enjoyed. It oh too. yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. So again, I'll just encourage all of you to continue to check out uh, Florence Price's work. Um, she has some incredible pieces out there, both uh, songs as well as orchestral pieces. Um, and she's really, she has a fascinating story um, uh, from her early roots in Arkansas to her time that she moved in, uh, it, to Chicago in, kind, in a time of real unrest. Um, so I encourage you to learn both about the composer um, as well as her uh, beautiful music. Um, and I'm glad that you guys all joined us tonight. I'm so glad we had some yeah. folks that I wasn't just talking to myself and to my mom on the computer. She does talk to <laughs> I do talk to myself a little That's bit. Okay. So there. So it's okay. It's okay. So I'm glad that you thank that you, you joined us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Nancy. We're so glad everybody enjoyed it. I am too. I am too. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoys their uh, Friday night. Um, Is it Friday? I, right. <laughs> That's what they told me. Is it? That's what they told me. I know, right? It, they told me it was a Friday, and I think it's June. Okay. So excellent. Well, thanks for coming, Mom. Oh, Let's thank you for inviting me. Toast. Thanks for coming. So much fun. I'll Cheers be... to all of you. Thank thanks you for all. joining us. I hope you'll join us next week for Club Z, Z um, which will be hosted by uh, the magnificently talented Britt Cooper, um, who uh, many of you know through the Symphony Chorus. Um, he is also. Um, the uh, music director at Walsh University, and I am oh, very proud to call him, yes, your alma mater, alma um, mater. and proud to call him a, a colleague uh, uh, where I work at Christ Presbyterian Church as our interim uh, music director. He's a delight, and I'm sure he's gonna have something wonderful for us to both listen to, as well as uh, a great beverage to enjoy. So cheers to all of yes. you, thanks for joining us. And uh, Thank take you care. Thank for letting me join you all. I enjoyed it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thanks, Mom, for coming. Thank you. <laughs>